Welcome to Delphi Labs. My name is Paweł Guwaski and today uh, I'm going to demonstrate different options for life cycle management of data snap server methods instances running inside servers. So we are going to use Delphi and I'm going to first create a server application, data snap server application using a wizard. So this is going to create just a standard VCL forms uh, application. I'm not going to need any sample methods, only with TCP IP connectivity. I'm going to see if the uh, port 211 is open and the base class C component is just fine uh, for me. I'm going to click on finish and now I'm going to save my uh, server project. I have a special uh, directory uh, created for me. I'm going to call this uh, form server form server unit. Save it. There are two other names that are generated by the wizard. I'm going to uh, keep the default values and I'm going to name this project lifecycle uh, server. So at this stage that's my uh, server application so to make sure that this window uh, um, is my server I'm going to just change the caption uh, and maybe uh, make it slightly uh, smaller because I won't need uh, to have any user interface for the server application. Okay so at this stage uh, my server is now ready. I'm going to uh, add to this a new project which is going to be just a straightforward VCL forms application that I'm going to save in the very same uh, location so data snap labs uh, and I'm going to call this unit uh, form client unit because that's my the main form uh, of my uh, client application and the project itself is going to be called lifecycle uh, client okay so I have a project group with just two projects. Uh, one is uh, my server application and one is my uh, client application. So what I'm going to do is to uh, demonstrate uh, different options for uh, working with server methods uh, instances. So this is a, a class that was generated by the uh, wizard. Uh, this class does not provide any uh, functionality but whatever methods we implement uh, here uh, these methods will be callable by the client. So I'm going to have uh, uh, this method getID that would return some uh, unique string. Uh, so in this way I will be able to uh, identify uh, to which uh, server methods instance inside the uh, data snap server we, we are talking to. Okay, so what I also need is some way of generating such a, a unique ID. I'm going to press Ctrl Shift C to make sure that uh, I have the body of this uh, method uh, generated, so my com uh, code compiles. And inside the constructor, I'm going to uh, overwrite the default uh, T component uh, constructor, a, a caps lock, a owner is T uh, component uh, overwrite. I'm going to Control Shift C, and here I'm what I'm going to do is to uh, use. Uh, a, med, a function that I have pre-built for this demo, uh, so that's a, a little a grid utils unit uh, that, that just provide this, so I will get a, a new a globally unique identifier generated for me, uh, so I just need to use this uh, unit in my uh, server methods class. So here I'm going to actually go ahead and use this unit in my uh, implementation of my server methods class, and now I can actually uh, go and define uh, I string field uh, that I'm going to uh, keep this so I also need to make sure that I'm uh, returning this uh, FID and now what I'm going to do is to generate such an ID so uh, get new grid so now anytime uh, my server will be I'm going to call my uh, server I will exactly know uh, if I'm talking to the same uh, server methods instance or not just by uh, comparing different IDs returned by the getID uh, method. Okay, so my uh, server is now ready. I can actually uh, go ahead and uh, compile uh, both projects. Uh, so I'm going to build old projects. So now uh, I want to make sure that my server application is running uh, while I'm developing my client application. I need to switch to a client application and now inside my form unit uh, I'm going to add uh, a button, so T button component. So I'm going to add this button here and say uh, get ID. And I'm going to have a, another label, a 
uh, so this is a label that I'm going to add to this and I'm going to have a, a display uh, an ID from the uh, server method so in order to be able to call uh, my uh, server methods I need to add an, a T SQL connection component and I need to make its driver property to data snap I don't need to have a login prompt and I should be able to connect at design time to my server now if I right click uh, on a uh, component I can generate data snap client uh, class so this is my uh, proxy code uh, so basically in order to call my server methods I need to uh, instantiate this class and I will be able to uh, to call uh, the functionality of the server okay I'm going to copy the body the name of this uh, unit first of all I want to make sure that this is uh, really uh, saved as part of my project so my unit is now called a proxy uh, I need to use this unit in my client uh, forms so now if I double click on get ID I can see that I am using proxy so that's uh, why I can just uh, define uh, such a, a local variable that I then can instantiate uh, and destroy uh, inside the body uh, of my of my function okay so I'm going to uh, call a constructor so this constructor expects a tdbx connection reference so this uh, reference is uh, very easy to obtain through the uh, SQL connection component that we have already on the form so this SQL connection component has this dbx connection uh, property that we need to pass here uh, so we have an uh, association uh, between uh, this instance and this particular uh, connection so when I'm done with the client uh, I should make sure that whatever uh, happens uh, I can uh, free it so now in the label I can uh, label one uh, dot caption uh, I can now uh, go ahead and call my get ID okay let's uh, run our application to see if it's uh, doing what it should be doing okay so that's my uh, get ID what about if I just go into ID and run another instance of this application and get ID so now I have uh, two of them so if I uh, put uh, both applications uh, on the screen I can see that two different instances of a client applications are talking to a different server methods uh, instances okay that's very important interesting so how uh, where it comes from so let me see in the server container unit uh, we have three components that really makes up uh, the basic uh, data snap server this server uh, has only one uh, transport which is a TCP uh, transport on power 111 and also this server has one server class so this server class component is not the server class itself uh, it has an event on get class uh, which is used to actually tell the data snap server uh, what is the type of a server methods class that we want to uh, instantiate so the developer does not have to worry uh, about the life cycle uh, of these um, server methods classes because this is controlled declaratively so if you look into the properties of a server class it has also the property called life cycle so we can specify a value session which is a default value so every different a client that is connected to our uh, server applications will have uh, its own uh, instance so uh, you can it's very much similar uh, to uh, enterprise Java beans stateful EJBs so you can actually uh, remember state so uh, for uh, when client connects uh, such a uh, instance is created inside a server and then when it disconnects it's destroyed so the other options is a server uh, in this option we would have just one instance for all connected clients so we need to make sure uh, that we write a multi-threaded code and also what is possible is invocation this is very much like a stateless EJB so the server methods instance is created uh, when the call arrives and is destroyed after uh, the call is uh, serviced okay thank you very much in the next uh, part of this presentation I'm going to demonstrate uh, other options in action